Welcome to Slaying Excel Dragons video number 20. Hey, these are the videos that accompany this book. We're still in chapter 5 talking about formulas. We have a quick video here. We want to see the efficient use of cell ranges in formula. We want to see why we would never make a formula like this. Let's go over to our Excel workbook. Excel is fun start workbook. You can download by clicking on the link below the video. We're going to start on the sheet ranges. Now here's our situation. We just need to add these. Sometimes you see formulas like this. Sometimes you see formulas like this. And sometimes you see formulas like this. This inefficient formula because you will not be a it will not update. The formula will not update when structural change happens like inserting rows. Same situation here. This one, however, will update. We can insert rows and it will just automatically update. And those kind of structural changes are common. In essence, that's one of the reasons we use spreadsheets is because they're so uh, accommodating. Now let's go ahead and insert a row. And to insert a row, I'm going to click on the 5, which is the row header. I'm not going to click here and right click, because if I right click Insert here, although I can do it, it thinks I want to do cells, and so then I have to click Rows. I'm going to click Escape. I always right click the row header, and when I click Insert, because I was touching the row header, it automatically inserts a row. Now let's go ahead and look. You can see right here, it didn't. It does not have A5 anymore. If I click here, A5 is not there. A5 is not there. But what about here? Oh yeah, just like we saw last video with um, 3D sheet references or 3D cell references, the colon means you can insert. So because it this bookend and this bookend here uh, or it separated by a colon, we can insert as many in between. Now we can't insert one right here because it won't it won't know that we wanted it. But no problem. Now when I type, I don't know, 20 here, watch the formulas. I'm going to hit Control Enter. This one updates. These ones do not. Now there's one other advantage, unusual advantage to the sum function as opposed to this. Okay. Advantage number one, you can do structural updates. What if I had um, some data and people had the word none or not available or something like that. As soon as you do that, the this formula right here will give you a value error because it's impossible to add cell A2 and A3. You are not allowed. There's no such thing in math as adding the word none to 45. And so this formula, forget it, it won't work. However, both of this one still doesn't solve the problem of inserting a row, but some sum. The sum function actually is programmed to ignore text. We actually saw this fact in an earlier video. Uh, one other reason to never do this or this, and it should be just immediately obvious, that takes too long to type. This is instantaneous. How instantaneous? Alt equals, and simply click and drag Enter. All right, uh, in our next uh, video, in the next couple videos, we will be talking about built-in functions. All right, now for some homework, some practice problems. Hey, we're in the workbook Slaying Excel Dragons homework, chapters 1 to 9. We're on the sheet, chapter 5, pages 185 to 207. There's a lot of homework problems here. Ah, lots of good cell reference assumption table, worksheet reference type of uh, homeworks. There's 38 and an answer, 39 and an answer. As always, there's going to be a sheet where you do your homework and an answer, and there's a bunch of them. All the way to, let's see, 44. All right, we'll see you next video.